Alright, yeah, another response video to Professor Anton. Sorry for the number of videos, it just is what it is. This is sort of what this conversation, somebody has to have the conversation. Um, if somebody has a counter-argument and they know some videos to respond to that there's some hope of getting a response back from, uh, yeah, let me know. But, uh, yeah, this is the best I can do. I don't know, what, what, what else am I supposed to do? People make these arguments and uh, they're not uh, obliged to account for them. So, but somebody's got to make sure it's known that there's a counter-argument. I think it's interesting to ask the question of, is self-reflexive consciousness, what we experience in ourselves, an accident? Yeah, well, I don't know. It's Yeah, so maybe it's interesting, especially when you're 12 or something. Um, you know, and you haven't heard all the arguments, and you haven't heard all the stuff, uh, you know, but, you know, once you acquire some sort of uh, philosophical literacy, it's not an interesting question anymore. Um, because the question only goes one place. Uh, who invented the intelligence that created it? Um, so if it's not in created by, as we notice, crude forces, as we can di dissect uh, in our own origins, you know, through processes of evolution, the fact that the universe complexifies, um, you know, that matter when it's spilled into the universe uh, will uh, condense uh, into things, and some of them will be funky things. Um, yeah, that's just you know that's like the ABCs of of uh, um, philosophy. I mean, it's 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 grammar school philosophy. It's it's not even it's it's the kindergarten kindergarten of philosophy so I don't think it's an interesting question anymore the only thing interesting is the consequences of the answer which is yeah we're, we're part of a mechanical system that has no intelligence on its own uh, no capacity to judge its own behavior no capacity to orchestrate its behavior no capacity to do it with volition and intent um, that only the products of the evolution can do. And uh, that puts us in this bizarre quandary. And let's, let's talk about the quandary of, um, you know, this complexity built by stupidity. I think there have been people who have suggested that the Big Bang, the, the cosmos itself, happened by an accident. See, accident is such an odd word. Yeah, right. That's just, so. Why would you use it? Um, as I pointed out in the Venom Fang X uh, video, accident is an accident of our language. Okay, it's the accident is that we understood what something when you did something on purpose, when you meant it to happen. I mean to throw this over there on the floor and throw it in the garbage can later. That's my intent. Now, the accident would be, yeah, it falls out of my hand. Um, we get it. Um, but uh, we're not talking, you know, when we talk about the universe, accident's a sloppy word because it's, it's, it doesn't have, there's no intent to, to use an opposition word for. So the word accident shouldn't even exist. Um, it does what it does, but it doesn't have intent. It is not deliberate. It doesn't go through a thinking process first and say, should I do this? It's crude forces. I mean, how many times does it have to be said? Crude forces. Undo the, the crude force origin um, uh, theory. And you're not doing that with this nonsense. You're not getting to the root problem. I don't know what information people would have to have in order to have the adequate framework to say that life, the cosmos, was an accident. <laughs> you know, the framework is, is science and biology. Everything out here, everything around us, is, there's no sign of intention, there's no sign of intelligence, there's no sign of guidance. Uh, the, like the, the, the little matchbox cars have no hand attached to them, moving them. We see what moves them. Crude forces that manifest in passions, and desires, uh, preferences, um, feelings, uh, senses, all kinds of little machinery um, that 
things, us, we, life wiggles around in. Uh, but there's no magic or mystery to the to the question of why does it do what it does. The the, the why is in the biology. It's in the science. Fortunately, this is one of these situations where I think people seem to pit on purpose or by design to accident. Now, those words are just as problematic. On purpose or by design does seem to suggest some sort of creator. It doesn't just suggest it, it demands it. It's a way of escaping that demand. So you're, yeah, there's no alternative. Um, there's no alternative using a word like accident. We can certainly use other words like intention and whatnot. But, um, yeah, you just, there's no way to go there. There's no way to go to intention without implying intelligence. And then you have to explain where the intelligence came from. And if evolution isn't your answer, you're, you've got a real problem separated from the created who designed it or somehow built it or yeah well like I said they can't really that's really not a rational scenario um, we can understand how crude forces through condensation through a, a meager amount of rules um, will allow zillions and gazillions of particles of energy to turn into many complex and strange to get into complex and strange relationship and create what we are that's a rational explanation everything else is 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 crap to be um, <laughs> uh, scrutinized um, explained away um, I, you know, I, we don't need to do the ridicule thing, but I mean, there's a point where that's the only option because there's this insistence to say, no, the fairy tale's true. I know the happily ever after is out there. And that's just all it is. You're just grasping at some kind of illusion of, of purpose. Just hanging around, I don't know, independently of it. I think part of the problem, yes, is to be honest about our feeble attempts to try to understand what... Now, see, right there, I mean, what is that? We have to be honest about our feeble attempts. What is feeble about our attempt? We attempted to land on the moon. We accomplished it. It wasn't a feeble effort. Um, in our effort to understand biology and physics and chemistry, it's not a feeble attempt. It's a, a very legitimate attempt. Darwin's volumes were not feeble. They were articulate explanations of why there's this ton of circumstantial evidence that points to the uh, a clear description of the crime. <laughs> and uh, you just, it's, there's nothing feeble in this evidence. But it is that makes up everything around us, including us. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we can sit there and with our feeble intelligence realize that, well, if you can ex explain biological evolution through these crude forces and you go back and you say, well, yeah, the chemistry itself evolves, the structure of the universe has rules, it, it changes over time, it changes its appearance, its look, um, its function. Um, uh, yeah, and you could, you, could, you could speculate that there's another universe that that we were a product of that was functioning based on the same thing. It's like if you're going to explain an extraterrestrial life form. Well, you start asking your question, well, where did they come from? Well, the answer is going to be, oh yeah, well, they did what we did. They evolved and intelligence was a tool that made them successful in their evolution. And they, you know, I mean, the, it's the same answer wherever you go. Um, evolution. Accident doesn't seem to be the best word for it, especially if someone holds to a completely deterministic universe. I think it's odd. Yeah, but like I said, we people, we, we look, you are this language expert. You know we use words because they are a, 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 a contrivance of tradition and all that kind of crap. They're not necessarily precise or accurate. And you know the synonyms for the word accident in this context. And in this context, the synonyms for accident are unintended, 
without deliberate design, um, with, without in intentional purpose. I mean, we can go down the list of the things that, the, the, the descriptive phrases that give that word accident meaning in this context. And you just don't want to accept the real context, the context that every person who's using that word understands and you're just pretending that context doesn't exist and that's just bullshit that's a game that's a deception and it's almost like an odd juxtaposition to hear people talk about the cosmos as an accident and then hold to a hardline determinist view yeah well it's not a juxtaposition the the, the fact is is that being deterministic is funky Okay, I mean, it's hard to grasp. It's hard to get your brain around. It's like these other concepts of infinity and all.